I would say it, it was like the hardest thing is coming off of the loss of the match of have like I, did, I didn't feel like it was the best refereed match in the world I wasn't a hundred percent sure about the scores that were given um and all that led to me just kind of losing focus and getting bombed I got again got bombed more toward the end of the match but coming back from that is the hardest part but I, again, I always tell this story, you know, I, I talked to Jimmy Pedro right after that and he was coaching me that side and he was like, you don't, if you, you, he, he said, you think you feel bad now, you should, you should see how it feels to get fit. And that's like, whoosh, like hits you like a, like a wave, like that realization that you could be any lower than the current moment and how you feel, but that you still have there's still things you can control to stop that from happening was a mind moment altering realization, you know? And then you go into, what am I going to do? What is the next step? How much time do I have? I think I had like a few minutes, I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, I wasn't sure who I was going to be fighting yet. Um, and then I ended up finding out that I was going to fight the Olympic champion from the previous Olympics. And I was like, great. <laughs> So I mean, like, how do you combat those nerves? Like, just, it's a switch? Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of goes to that, like, you have the power to control some things and not other things. And what can I control? Um, I can control my mindset about it, my focus. I can think about um, what I'm going to do step by step when I walk out on the mat. And that's something that always helped calm my nerves, literally, like, visualization in real time of just like if she's standing in front of me right now we just bowed and now we're about two feet away from each other I'm taking a step closer and as I'm stepping I'm grabbing her sleeve and then her lapel but last time I fought her she never let me get her sleeve so maybe I should be prepared to double grab it first and then and like I started thinking this way and I started getting more and more confident and realizing like I just had to do what I knew how to do and don't give up the whole time, constantly push the pace, which was one of my strengths that I could kind of keep the mat pace going. Um, and Quintavale, the, the girl I had to fight from Italy for bronze, um, I had trained with her the year before in Japan. Just randomly, I was at Tokai and I thought it was gonna be just me, like as the only guy gene there. And I go down into the basement where the women train and the whole Italian team's there, we, female Italian team, including her. Uh, and I was like, I can't miss up an opportunity to do Rondori with the Olympic champ, even though I'm here to do judo with the Japanese team. And I was actually afraid she was going to say no, like in Rondori, like, hey, next round, next round. And she was like, yeah, sure. And we went and I had so much trouble with her. I'm not even exaggerating, Joe. Like I couldn't get grips on her. I couldn't even move her. And I felt like I was in good shape and condition at that time. And I just I struggled. And after the match, you know, when you have a good match or a bad match against someone who's maybe a rival, even in training, you kind of just have this like low, uh, confidence feeling. I felt like that. And that was the last time I ever touched her. And then we have to fight at the Olympics. And so wow. I, was, I was thinking about that moment and trying not to let it psych me out because as you know, as a judo player, if there's a specific thing that an opponent does or a tactic they do that you don't have an answer for or a solution for it's really anxiety producing going into the match because you don't have a solution in place and just acting on the fly isn't a solution either if it's something that gives you trouble you know so I had that feeling um but then when I walked out on the mat I looked across at her and I thought she looked nervous I thought she like, she was kind of looking around a lot and like, um, like breathe, like taking breaths and like doing a lot of like slapping your arms and swiping her feet on the mat. And in my head, I was, I was, it gave me like a confidence boost in that moment. Like she's taking me seriously. Um, even though she's the Olympic champ and I'm here at my first yeah. Olympic. So yeah, all the little things, right. That come into play when you go into an important match. There's a lot of pressure probably on her because you know, I'm the olympic champion but now i'm here fighting for for potentially a bronze but i may not get it and mm -hmm. so yeah i can imagine yeah she's she's nervous she's got a lot more to lose than you yep and i just try to put like resting b face if you will <laughs> super you mad and <laughs> like 
make her a little afraid of how confident I looked. I was also thinking that, right? I know it sounds like maybe petty, but those things matter. 